to my channel. So today I'm gonna do something really, really cool. Today I am taking you inside the kitchen with me and showing you what I meal prep slash what I kind of get at the grocery store as a nutritionist. We did re-up on groceries today. We do that every week or two. I'm a family of three. So I'm gonna show you what I get, kind of explain how I grocery shop and what I like to make sure I'm always stocked up on. Things that are really easy to prepare healthy meals with, especially for my family. And then we're gonna get to the good stuff and hop in the kitchen and do a little meal prepping. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. Very quickly, you will realize that I am probably not like most nutritionists. I really do believe in eating food that you actually love. So there is no boring chicken, broccoli, and rice prepping this way. I pride myself in being realistic when it comes to food. Cause I truly believe that the reason that a lot of women struggle with losing weight and maintaining the weight that they do lose is because they have really super unrealistic restrictions, one, and ideas about their food and what they should be eating in order to make the progress and keep the progress that they do make on their journey. So today I'm gonna give you a little snapshot of my life, how I cook, what I prepare for my family, and also what I prepare for myself on the side so that I can make sure that my days stay intentional and my goals are always in the forefront of my mind so keep on watching we're about to get cooking oh yeah and if you haven't yet what are you doing sis subscribe so that you don't miss another video from me because they're gonna be awesome we usually always re-up at least one or two times on fresh produce a, a week and that's because I'm cooking so often oranges fruits first of all oranges and grapes are Bexley's favorite also blueberries are her favorite and these are also really, really easy to make parfaits with or just kind of have with the side of oatmeal or things like that or just pack in her lunchbox for like snacks and she's in kindergarten so they eat and snack a lot. <laughs> and then vegetables that are always staples, like I always, always have these in my refrigerator are bell peppers uh, red and green are my absolute favorite those are my favorite combo parsley because you can never have enough parsley literally ever <laughs> and so I'm always having parsley in my refrigerator one because I love presentation with food even when I'm just cooking for my five-year-old I love food looking pretty um, and also guys we eat with our eyes so making your food look good is a really easy way to make yourself eat it as well and then also staples would be like broccoli green beans, zucchini. We also meal prep for our puppy Yoko. So we go through a lot of zucchinis because that is what she eats in her prep as well. And then onions. I can never get enough garlic so I'm always getting garlic at the store. Um, tomatoes. We go through a lot of tomatoes in the family just with like sandwiches and just kind of throwing together in a stir fry. All of these vegetables honestly are really good for just about anything like steaming them on the go, making a quick stir fry with some rice when you you know don't feel like getting creative in the kitchen when it's time to eat. And then Bexley is a raisin fanatic. She goes through literally so many so we're always getting new packs of raisins, bananas of course potatoes we don't really have to re-up on like starches often like potatoes I usually get those in bulk so in the pantry right now there's already like a ton of sweet potatoes yellow potatoes some Yukon potatoes as well and proteins that we're always getting shrimp my little girl loves shrimp so shrimp tacos and making stir fries we're actually gonna use these and prep uh, a really really yummy dinner with these tonight and then chicken breast these were actually on sale at Publix I think it was like uh, two for one or buy two get one free and so I, I, I stocked up on chicken breast because chicken breasts are really expensive right now with the shortage and then um, ground beef ground beef is getting expensive we usually don't do a lot of red meat but this week we did get some and then I always get fresh salmon from the counter at Publix. I usually do fresh shrimp at the counter as well, but I needed the really big ones today and they only had small. Um, and then eggs, we don't really re-up on eggs a whole lot. We're not big egg eaters, but every so often we'll kind of get a craving for like scrambled eggs or you know, egg over easy for breakfast. And then we've got deli meat. These are really great for my daughter. I usually just pack some like make some little sandwiches for her in her lunchbox string cheese is usually for Bex too but sometimes I do like to snack on these with like some nuts or some granola and speaking of granola this is the best granola <laughs> I have literally ever had in my entire life so 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 good so it's organic oats flax seeds and organic coconut flakes 
and me and my daughter literally fight over these because it's so good and I usually pack these in her um, snack packs with like some cashews or some almonds and she goes to town for her snack at lunch and then yogurt you know we've tried so many vegan yogurts and I keep coconut yogurt we've got coconut yogurt and almond yogurt in the fridge right now but my daughter Bexley will just not <laughs> for the life of us eat a vegan yogurt so we usually just get a whole milk yogurt flavored vanilla for her and again these are really good in the mornings when we just need to throw together a quick breakfast so like parfaits with some blueberries um, just a snack in general with some bananas and some honey. Those are really really great for her This is what we got this re-up I think we spent like maybe 90 or a hundred dollars and that was mostly because we had to re-up on so much protein But usually I would say weekly when we just have to get like produce We're spending like 20 30 bucks a week just getting you know Like just reing up on some produce to make with dinners each night and then every two weeks when we go to re-up on like the proteins, anything that's like not frozen and stuff like that, that's usually when our grocery trips are a little bit more. This will probably last us, I would say the week. The protein specifically, everything else like the yogurt and the granola and the fruit and stuff will usually last almost two weeks, like right at that cusp. So for the most part, I would say our weekly grocery budget is actually really, really um, doable for a family of three. I think we spend maybe $80 a week at the store. If you are someone who eats out often, you know that you can easily spend, you know, $30, $40 just for a meal, especially if you have children or you are dating someone because you know relationship food is always much more expensive. And so it's really, really easy to spend that much on one meal and so I always tell my husband hey if we can get it under 80 90 dollars a week for just the things we need we're cooking more on the roll and then things like rice and breads I would say maybe we re up on once a month we don't really have to go and get those very often because they last longer, they're non-perishables, right? And we have, we usually keep a stock supply inside the pantry. So very seldom do we have to re-up on those. And then when we do have to go and get more, it's usually they run out of like one thing at a time. So we never have to re-up on everything once, all at once. So now I've gone through the groceries. I am going to put everything up. I am going to get to cooking and show you how I meal prep uh, for myself and then what we're cooking tonight for my family.
of our day. I really, really hope you love that recipe. So I actually cooked in the middle of the day and that is usually not the norm. But today we did grocery shop, so I went ahead and uh, meal prepped a little bit and got us kind of ready for um, tomorrow. So what I usually do every single night is I make dinner and I make a few extra servings for me for lunch the next day and sometimes the following day and then I just eat those. Because I cook so often for my job, I cook a fresh dinner each night and so I usually just prepare one day in advance. But I actually teach my clients, because most of them do not work from home, I actually teach my clients that when they do make dinner, to make at least two days of meals. So lunch the following day, dinner the following day, lunch the next day, and then make a fresh dinner and prepare something new. So one, they're not getting bored with their meals because boredom is the number one reason a lot of women fall off on their weight loss journey. But two, they are minimizing their kitchen time during the week and they're getting to stuff that actually matters. Now, if you cook for a family every night, then something like just preparing for lunch the next day when you're not gonna be home or when your days are really, really busy tends to work out. And also making quick recipes. You can get in the kitchen and out of the kitchen in 25 minutes or under, regardless of how big your family is. You just need the tactics to do that. And so a lot of the recipes that I do make and uh, put in the recipe index in the program are fast but also super, super yummy and healthy and enjoyable so that you can hit your goals and your family doesn't hate you because you are making chicken, broccoli, and rice for the third time that week. <laughs> so I hope you love this video and I hope you love this recipe. If you try it out, let me know. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Until then, I'll see you next week, boo.